Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams and in particular private channels. If you find this video useful please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It does mean a lot to the channel and with all that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just within my supply chain team um, and what I want to do is actually add a new channel into this team but make it private so that only um, team members that I actually allocate to that particular channel can interact with the posts and various other content within it. Um, this is a kind of quite a powerful function of Microsoft Teams that's really useful um, if you want to be handling some kind of top level management from a specific team. Um, so if you wanted to just communicate specifically with certain levels of a team, um, then this is potentially the way that you might want to go about doing it. Um, so let's just check out how we would do this. So within the team section here, I can navigate to my supply chain team and then just click on the ellipsis of that team. From here we have the standard um, functions and we're going to talk about how to add the channel here. So click on add channel and then give your channel a name. So I'm going to call this P and C and I'm not sure, you know, the, um, I'm just going to call it private then. So special characters are not allowed. Um, private group is what I'm going to call it. Okay. Um, members only okay um, and then under privacy this is the part that lets you basically create this um, channel as a private channel so at the moment by default it's standard accessible to everyone in the team okay so I'm gonna just from the drop down menu here see that we have the option for private so I'm gonna click private and private accessible only to a specific group of people within the team okay and then I click next now this adds um, the private group um, channel to this specific section here um, and obviously then you're presented with a new pop-up window. This pop-up window here is basically the telling you to um, add members to the private group channel. Um, this is a private channel so only people you add here will see it. Okay, so I type the name and I can add the person or I can skip so I'm going to just click skip for now and then we can see over here on the left hand side the private group that was just created and you can see that it's private because it has a little padlock on it. Now if for any reason you have forgotten to add someone to the group or you need to add someone to the group after it's been created all you have to do is actually navigate over to the ellipsis. Uh, from here you can see you have a lot more options than you would from the regular ellipsis. Okay, so this is the regular um, ellipsis that you have from a standard channel and this is the ellipsis that you have from a private channel. So here you actually have the ability to add members. Um, so I can click there and it gets me back to this section again for adding team members into this particular private group. Um, and as I said before, this is a, a really great functionality of Microsoft Teams that basically now um, lets you create subgroup channels um, depending on a hierarchy system potentially. Um, so for me personally, this is how I would use um, private channels to um, speak differently to potential management of um, a team than the entire team itself. And certain things that you don't want to be um, publicly out there for the entire team to see. You want it to be limited to a specific subset of members of the team. Um, and that is it guys. If you found this video useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It does mean a lot to the channel. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.